Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello friends, in today's video we will be learning how to perform single post networking in Docker containers. So let's jump into the practical. Here we have an EC2 Ubuntu instance and Docker environment is already installed on it. So first we need to gain the super user access and we will use the command sudo su for that after that we will update the packages now once the app packages are updated successfully before uh, moving on to the commands let's learn a little bit about how it works so in a single host networking by default any docker container or host will get an ip address that will give it the possibility to communicate with other containers in the same host or the other machine so whenever whenever a, a docker container is launched it has been providing an ip address and that ip address can be used to communicate with the containers present in the same or different environments and it is also possible that a docker container finds another container IP by its names since the IP addresses could be assigned dynamically at the container startup. So whenever we are searching for a container, a name is more efficient to find a running container. Now containers in a single host could also communicate and reach the outside world. So single host networking basically means that we are creating a network setup or an we are assigning an IP and opening that IP containers IP to the outside world so that it can connect with the outside world. Now let's turn to the practical. So the first step is to create a simple container. So here we are running a container named busybox. We are using the image busybox and naming it as my container. So it will pull the latest busybox image from the docker registry and here you can see the id of the container now the second thing is to test the busybox image which we can do by docker exec which is the docker execution command and it can be used to ping google.com through my container which was just launched So it is able to ping google.com after that what we can do is we can inspect the container using the docker inspect command so once we inspect the container it will give us all the configurations related to the container whether it's network based or it's storage based so it will give us the id when it was created the path along with that which image has been used the driver settings so all the configurations related to this container will be present here in this file so you can check it for the gateway also and also the ip address allotted to the container in that case what we will do is we will check whether the ip address is properly working or not so we will use ping and place the ip address which has been allotted to our container So it is successfully able to ping the IP address. That means that our IP is working fine with the container. Now the next step is to create the web server container and forward the port host to 8080 and to the container 80 to test how it responds. So we will use the command docker run. Here we are forward, forwarding it to 8080 port and we are naming the server as my web server and the image which we are using here is nginx so once the command is initialized it will pull up the nginx image and place it in the my web server which has been forwarded to 8080 port now if we want we can test the proper functionality of nginx 
so nginx should reply if your port 8080 is not used by any other application so it might happen that a uh, different application can also use the same port in that case there could be clash and the services won't be running properly so we we can check the functionality of that port by using command curl and simply testing the local port so here you can see that there is a basic html file present here and also it has stated that thank you for using nginx that means that we have successfully forwarded the web server using the nginx image on 8080 port now what happens is that in a single host containers are able to see each other to see the external world if they are not running in isolated networks and they can receive traffic from an external network so once we have ex exposed this port number to the outside world they can communicate with the other containers present in different environments irrespective of their port number so in today's video we learned how to run a single host networking in docker environment and friend that was all for today's video thank you